Coach, please. Well, Coach, the layoff, can it help the team going into this weekend? You know, I'm, I'm excited about this week that we're able to really lock in at practice, work on some things that, in areas that we need to work on. And um, thus far, we've had one practice. We, we practiced on Tuesday and thought it was really positive. Uh, I thought we got a lot uh, accomplished and I think our players felt good about it. Um, you know, you don't, you don't correct all the things in one practice, but I think it was a really good start for us to try to get us back where we need to be. Yeah, I think the rotations, um, you, you know, are still, like I've said, I still think they're going to be a work in progress. I think, um, you know, we're technically still in November. And, um, you know, as, as people have um, practices, they get more minutes under their belt and games, I think, um, you know, we're going to see different strengths. Um, and, and there are certain matchups each game that are going to make more sense. And so um, I think the good thing is we have options. Um, we'll keep working to try to help each person that's getting those minutes get better. And, and um, you know, I think as we, as we continue to play, things, things do become clearer because you have more game data. What are the most important stats or factors to you when you're, when you're looking at rotations and, and minutes going into games? Yeah, we, we use a lot of stats right now. We're using a lot of, um, uh, lineup stats, um, you know, we'll, we'll look at plus minus, we'll look at shooting percentage. Um, we're looking at our individual defensive efficiencies, uh, team and lineup defense and offensive efficiencies. So there's a lot of data. Uh, um, I don't think you can go 100% data. I think you have to have the eye test as well. And, um, you know, from what we see in practice, I think those things are also really important. Um, do we see people um, buying in and doing the little things in practice because that's what we need to convert over to the games. Coach, what do you feel like you all learned from the four losses that came against now ranked teams and you get ready to go into another big one? How important do you think it is? You know, you're so obviously in the non-conference, a lot of big games left to go, but to, to get a top 25 win. Yeah, I think when you, when you look at those games, um, we've talked a lot about our defense. Our, our defense wasn't as effective as it needed to be in those losses. Um, our rebounding was not where it needed to be in those losses. And our, our players understand that. So it's basically, you know, getting those habits formed, making sure that we understand where we need to get better. They, they get it. It's just now a matter of doing it and, and executing it um, with, with more urgency and, and energy and, um, you know, they, again, the, the good thing is these things are correctable. The, the good thing is we can get, we can get better. How's the team morale going into a top 25 matchup after such a big uh, win over Eastern Kentucky? Yeah, I think um, coming off of two wins, I think made them feel better. Um, obviously, you, it's nice to be able to coach and uh, correct after wins instead of always after losses. Um, but we were still pretty critical coming out of the weekend um, in, in the areas we needed to grow. So um, where they were, they were excited, they were happy, but also understood what this week was going to look like to help us get better. Regina Tech has some really good three-point shooters. How, how are, what's the focus going into this week, and, and how do you kind of fix that perimeter defense to make sure that's not a factor in Sunday's game? Yeah, I think uh, there, there are some things that we needed to get better. I think it starts with our transition defense. We have to guard quicker. Um, we have to be in the right spots quicker. Um, we have some um, scheme techniques that we had to clean up a little bit, make sure we're, um, uh, that our system is uh, consistent, you know, each and every day. Um, you know anything from ball pressure to off ball awareness and then um, and then finishing your defense with technique disciplined box outs and so I think um, you know we're we've been able to focus more on us and then later in the week we'll be able to really dial in more Virginia Tech I feel like from the preseason work till now how much more comfortable is this team are the ladies playing with each other well, I think they're. I think they're much more comfortable. I think they're in each timeout, whether that's practice or a game. I think they are um, finding even um, a, another level there. I think you. You know, 
We're coming off of uh, some games where we had a lot of assists. I think that's always good. Um, they're, they're looking at each other. Um, I do think our communication has gotten better since game one in preseason. Um, still, still an area of growth, but you know, I, I do think we've gotten better in those areas. Thinking off the top of your head, you know, what do you feel like is your best defensive lineup right now based on you know, what you've seen? Um, you know, it's, I think one of the problems is it's been inconsistent. You know, so we have different we have different um, um, lineups each game that will, that are more effective and um, in terms of, of stats. And then you've got you know the eye test. Um, so I you know we've got players that can can really defend, and we've now got to we have to put a team out there that can really defend. Since the beginning part of this season, what would you say the biggest area of growth has been for your girls? Um. That's a great question. I think since the game started, um, maybe a, probably on the offensive end, um, maybe some of our efficiency there. Um, I think our pace and our aggressiveness has consistently gotten better um, with how we need to play. So that's probably been the biggest area that, that we could see in the last couple of weeks. Do you feel like the team's any bit more motivated after you coming in ranked and you know, having such a big game on their home floor coming up? I think our team's motivated. I think they, you know, they come out and, and work hard. I, I'm telling you that they were excited about how practice went um, uh, on Tuesday, and that's a good sign. You know, they they want that. They want to be better. So I think they're going to be motivated. Uh, you know, I really, I really would be disappointed if come game time I'm I'm still trying to pull teeth to motivate. I, I think they'll be ready to go. You mentioned after Colorado um, having Julie at the five was helpful for her in terms of. Is, is that kind of where she's going to be most comfortable going forward? And is it the goal to get her more comfortable at the four or maybe even the three eventually? Yeah, I think for us right now, just we're just trying to find her, uh, find the niche for her, find her comfort level where it's highest. And then understand, then we can grow from there because she can. She can play multiple positions. She can play the five, four, and the three. Um, but we want to put her in position right now to be the most successful. And I think we're coming off of, um, uh, a weekend where the time that she spent at the center, at the five spot, was really good for her. Um, and then we were able to move her over to a little bit of the four, uh, and, and she was also productive there. She splits her time with guards and posts in practice, I've heard. How have you seen that benefit her in, guard, in regards to like her, her guard skills? Yeah, I think um, she comes in very skilled, but continuing to work on her ball handling her, uh, her um, driving ability by putting the ball on the floor, her outside shots, all those things she gets to work on when we're with the perimeter players. And then we get, take her over there and let her bang with, with Tamari and, uh, and then play with somebody smaller like Jasmine Franklin and Caroline Striplin. That's been good for her too, to get in the paint and be physical. So, you know, sometimes players that, that play multiple positions, um, you, you've got to settle in one to get their comfort level up and, and then let them grow from there. I have a question from Maria. Um, it, uh, Tamari had such a great game last year against Virginia Tech, the way she played against Kitley. Does that give her or you know, the team any you know, confidence going into this next matchup with an All-American Center? You know, I think we should have confidence going in. Um, confidence because it's been done. Um, you know, I don't think you can expect to go out and um, have the same results unless you go out and, and expect to be better than you were a year ago. Um, uh, Kitley is a super talented player and, um, you know, it's going to take a huge, huge team effort to slow her down, but that's not even mentioning the other players on the team that are, that are really talented for Virginia Tech. All right, thank you, Coach. All right, thank you, guys.